Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi mathematicians, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Math Fluency. Hey today, it's kind of an exciting day for me because we've been building up to uh, going from our small facts to medium facts, you know, we did sixes and sevens and we talked about the eights and such. Now we're going to do nines. We're just looking at nines today because nines are a special group of facts. Plus, you've already done at least your zero through eight by now, and which means that you've actually done nine times one, nine times two, all the way up to nine times eight by now. Or, I'm going to show you something here. So last week, or rather the last video, we went over this here, seven times nine. And I pointed out that there was a pattern, you know, nine and 18, and the numbers make up nine, so one and eight make nine, two and seven. And if you take a look at this, every time we take a hop, it's going up. And let me show you something else, is that seven times nine is equal to nine times seven. Whoa! Hey, Mr. Woods, that's really cool. You see how that, I just switched it around? So let's take a look at this. Now, instead of nine times seven, let's look at nine times nine. Oh, well, how do we do that? So. Uh, let's look at, I'm just going to draw a line through that. So we're going to look at 9 times 9. We already have 9, 18, and so this is 1 times 9, 2 times 9, 3 times 9. This is 4 times 9, 5 times 9, 6 and 7. We want to take another hop. It's going to be, this is, and that's 9 times 7, 9 times 8. 9 times 9. How, by looking at the pattern, what do you think the next number would be? If you notice here, we have 1 and 8, 2 and 7. See how it, that pattern is going? If this is 6 and 3, what do you think the next number is going to be? Think about that. So if this is 5 and then this is 6, then the next number should be 7. And if that was 4 and then this is 3, it's 2. That's going to be 9 times 8. And now we want to have 9 times 9 is equal to, and look at this, six, well, 5, 6, 7. So come down here and do 8. And then this was 4, 3, 2, and 1. See how that matches the, the pattern? It's really exciting. Now, another thing I want to do is let's tie this into 10s. So you're going, gosh, you know, 9 times 9, I'm not sure, Mr. Woods, what can I do? Well, take a look at this here. We can say, okay, you know how to count by 10s. 10s are easy. 10 times 1 is 10. 10 times 2 is 20. You just like put that 0 at the end of it. Uh, 10 times 10 is 100 because you add a 0 to that 1, 0, when it says 10, and then 0 again, that's going to give you another uh, 100. So if we look at this, we go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then you had added 9 extra 1's, so you want to subtract that at the end. So 90 minus 9, so I have 90 minus 9, okay. I like out of space, but that's okay. So I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I have to make, okay, let's make that an 8 because i got to pull this 10 over here. And 10 minus 9 is 1, so that's going to give me 81. Okay? All right, let's move on for our next stage here. All right, I want to show you something else. It's just different medium. So we have these 10 frames with 9 dots are nine cells that are filled in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See how there's just one blank, so it's still a 10 frame. I just want to put these out here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so I'm looking at eight groups of nine. <sighs> Same kind of thing that we did with the uh, the number line there, let's take a look at this. So I can count by tens. Again, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, right? And then count the 
square or the, the frames that are, that are not filled in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I have 80 minus 8. Hmm. So let's take a look at this. Say this is 80, and I want to minus that 8. So I go 79, 78, 77, 76, 75, 74, 73, 72. Look at that. So I have 72. See how I'm using my fingers and, and subtracting it right away? If I don't go 80, it's 79. Okay? Remember that pattern and using your fingers. Eventually, you need to know these automatically because that's going to help you with higher level math. All right. This is the time to learn is uh, up through about third, fourth grade. By fifth grade, you should have your math factors down for at least 0 through 12. Right now, we're, we're concentrating on 9 today. Okay, so I showed you that. Let's take a look at a couple other ways to look at it. I'm going to use some manipulatives here. Let's see here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we already know that one because you did that seven times nine. But let's take a look at this. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need to take one off from each other. And, and what I'm going to do is let me get this in closer here. I'm going to take it off on this side and just separate it. I just want to show you something here. And this is something that. Uh, it's really great to have a visual of what when you're subtracting stuff, uh, when you're going through and you're you're working on your factors or in an early uh, grade. So I've taken them all out and line them all up here. So I have again. I'll put these a little kind of in line. All right. So we know what nine times seven or seven times nine is. This is I'm reversing it. I want to say nine times seven. But, let's look at it a different way that there's actually 10 here. So if we do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, right? And then we say, well, there's 70. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, 70, 69, 68, 67, 66, 65, 64, 63. You see how I manipulated these uh, blocks to make it so that I can come up with the number. I'm going to put these off to the side. Let's look at it a different way too. So I have one, two, three, four. And I want to split that up a little bit here. I want to kind of offset it there a little bit. Because what I'm doing is I'm showing you just different ways that you can have this strategy in your head. You can write it down this way as well. And I'm going to show you that too. So there we go. And I'm going to make sure it's all get, getting in the view here. Okay. So you can see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fours, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fives. Whoa! Hey! You should already know your fours and your fives. Fives are easy. So let's let's do that. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. That's 7 times 5, or 5 times 7. So let's put that down. So I have 5 times 7 is equal to 30. Five. Okay, that's the fives. Let's look at the fours. Remember, it's four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, all right, twenty-four, twenty-eight. Hmm. So I have four times seven equals 28. Let's make that a better 8. 28. So I want to add that together. Let's look at this answer here. So we're going to do uh, some partials here. So I have 5 and 8. You can count on from 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'm going to just put down 13. Notice how 
I'm making sure that that 1, which is actually a 10, and the 13 is in the 10's column, and the 3 is in the 1's column. Next number up is, I'm going to say, so I'm adding, I have to come down here, since I'm doing these 10's column, I'm going to put a 0 here. So 2 plus 3 is 5, all right? So 5, let me draw that, and then let's add this up. So adding up the 1's, that's going to be 3. Adding up the 10's, that's going to be 60. So the answer is 63. Whoa! You see how that is? Now we can just break it up, we can make it, uh, the numbers smaller so that you're able to calculate this out. Again, you need to memorize your nine factors, but if you know your smaller factors and you can break up the uh, problem this way, you can uh, come up with the answer in, in a relatively quick amount of time. But you need to practice everything. Okay, let's take a look at uh, a couple more things here. Um, I just wanted to make sure that you understand this. That we have this broken up and we can put it all back together. Let's, let's just put it all back together real quick. And oops. so I have all those nines. I'm going to add some more nines here. So, what we have here also, is you can look at it a different way, um, what a matrix or an array is, where we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I'm going to call those rows, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 columns. You see how that works? Uh, and right here, because it's I have um, 10 of these, we can count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Oh, wait a minute. I did that wrong. <gasps> because this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have to go it this way. I make mistakes. It's okay. I caught my mistake. I knew what I, what I was going for. And I want you to try it that way. Okay, so let's, let's look at this. These are actually nines. So... Instead of counting by nines, I want to count by tens. So I know that this is 10. So I say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Whew. I was able to redeem myself. So make sure that you're counting in the right direction when you're working with manipulatives, you're drawing it out. you got to make sure that your numbers are aligned, whether they're ones or tens, or when you get into the hundreds, you need to make sure that hundreds are, are lined up. This concludes the video on the nine factors. Keep working on it. Remember to memorize and keep uh, track of where you're at. You should already know a lot of your nines. It should just be a few extra to get that up to at least 10. And if you want to extend it, go to 12. Next video is going to be on what we call square factors. And if you notice here, I have a 3 by 3 uh, matrix or an array and that's a square. Notice how the shape is square because it's equal on each side. So now we're going to work with it where it's, whether it's 3, 6 uh, times 6 or 9 times 9. You should already know a lot of these but it's going to be interesting to see how you can figure it out in different ways on breaking it up. Alright mathematicians, until next time remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Mr. Wiz Teaches. Have a great day.